What's up fam and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are in the kitchen because I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I cook my dog El Capitan on a weekly basis. Capitan is still on normal dog kibble and I will be talking about that more into the video and giving you details of what brand I like and what flavors I use but I'm also going to be telling you what I cook him because when it came to what kind of can of dog food I was going to buy him as a puppy, I really couldn't figure out what the main ingredients were. There was just so much crap in there. So I decided to take control of the situation and make his dog food on my own. Um, I'm constantly looking up on the phone, is this okay for a dog? You guys, it takes you two seconds to Google, is an onion okay for my dog? And you'll find out, no, <laughs> onion's not okay for your dog. So like I said, I did a lot of research and you guys got to keep on doing your research when it comes to your dog. Um, this whole recipe might not work out for your family, might not work out for your dog, but I am talking about a lot of tips and tricks that might help you out along the way. Um, Capitan is going to be eating chicken breasts in this video, but I do switch it off weekly to either ground beef, ground chicken sometimes, or sometimes tuna. And the vegetables are often getting switched off a lot too. Um, people are always asking me, did Capitan just get a bath? He's so shiny. And I'll be like, yeah, he just got a bath. Ooh. Um, I truly believe that he's in such great health and he looks so damn good is because of what I feed him and I put the time and effort. I really want him to live a happy, healthy life. And honestly, this whole thing does not take me that long. The whole process of it boiling is 45 minutes and you might have to be at the house. You have to be at the house during that time. But honestly, it really is beneficial to Capitan. So I hope you guys get some kind of information off this video. Um, please comment below what you are feeding your dog, what you like for your dog, if this helps you out of, at all. Um, no reptiles in this video, but I promise you on the next one there will be. And thank you guys again. Thumbs up, like, comment. And let's go hop into how I cook Capitan's food. Before I hop into this video, you guys, I really have to share with how badass this shirt is. I mean, three-headed Rottweiler. Please get me one. <laughs> So these are the vegetables I like to use. I already pre-rinsed them and I am going to chop them up to the proper size for Capitan. Chopped up the sweet potato, also peeled the skin off of it, baby carrots, zucchini, and kidney beans that have been drained and rinsed. Meat of choice this week is chicken breast. I got a pound of it at the grocery store and pre-rinsed it. And now it's just time to add all those vegetables in one big stew pot. Once you have all your vegetables in the pot, it's time to throw it on the stove. I like to put this on a low heat for about 45 minutes to make sure this chicken gets fully cooked. Next step is super important and kind of gets overlooked. So I like to save all that broth left over. I put it in a drainer. That way I will use it after to pour on top of the kibble. It's never good to give your dog just straight up dry kibble. So might as well save that broth and add it to their food. All right, so you're gonna wanna let the chicken cool, the broth cool down, and all these vegetables because trying to tear this chicken apart when it's super hot, you don't wanna get your thumbs and fingers all burnt. So yeah, give this about 15 minutes and I'll get back to how we chop it all up. This is how I like to store the broth. It makes it super easy and simple just to pour it over the dog food. That way your dog is not eating plain dry kibble because plain dry kibble is terrible your dog it's hard for them to digest so that leftover broth is just an extra little bonus now for the last step and that is just shredding your chicken breast and adding your vegetables i use tupperwares to keep it fresh to last throughout the week So when it came to choosing what kibble I wanted to get Capitan, um, I did a lot of research, talked to a few friends at Dog Boutiques. I think I went to like three before I actually made the decision and I decided on the Pure Vita 
holistic pet food. Um, Capitan has been on this since he was a puppy, and I have talked to my vets about this. It is an all stage, all life stages dog food. Um, they told me, you know what, Mary, this is a great dog food. Don't change something if you don't need to. Capitan's coat is amazing. His, uh, he doesn't have any stomach aches. He has great teeth. Uh, I can't stress enough, he's on perfect weight. So uh, if you are looking for a dog brand of food, I highly suggest this. I am not sponsored at all. It is a little bit expensive because you're paying for the quality. Um, I do get this at a dog boutique. You might have to buy it online. It is grain free. Um, there's just so many great, great things that this dog food has. He is on the peas, salmon, and cranberries. So when I am preparing his other homemade food, I make sure not to give him any of this stuff because he's already getting so much in his kibble. Um, this is a great dog food. I highly, highly suggest it. Uh, they also come in all different other flavors and different sizes of bags. So, yep, I highly suggest When it comes to preparing Capitan's food, I give him one scoop of his dog kibble and he gets two scoops of the homemade food I made for him. I do have that other broth stored away, but this was just left over and I'm going to drizzle it over the dog food because once again, giving your dog just plain dry kibble is not good for their stomach. It is super hard for them to digest. You ready for dinner? Are you ready for dinner? Okay. <laughs> 